Hey guys, I'm back. So in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how to sign up clients in your SMA agency. All right, you're going to want to stay tuned. If you're brand new to my channel, my channel is going to help you guys have more success in your SMA agency uh, by giving you guys tips and tricks and strategies for things that I've personally done in my business. And I believe that if you implement them as well, that you can have the same type of success. Okay, so let's get into it. So when it comes to uh, running your estimate agency, one of the hiccups that I've noticed many people have is their process. And what I mean by process is that their process is not streamlined, okay? You guys know fastest and easiest way to pick up clients is by picking up the phone, reaching out to businesses in an effective way, right? You got to have a strategy, you got to have a blueprint. And once done correctly, you can actually pick up clients at will, okay? But before you pick up the phone, there are a couple of things that I would recommend that you implement. And I mentioned them in, a, in another video, but I want to really reiterate this because I've noticed a couple questions and um, just making sure that everything is locked in because you're going to pick up the phone and then you might make a good call and then the business owner says, okay, great. Now send me an email and like, wait, I don't have a business email. Wait, I don't have the information to send you. Right. And that's honestly fine because you can do the, the activity first, but now let's put these businesses in a system and let's convert these businesses into clients for our agency, okay? So you're going to want to have, you know, like your, your business set up, your profile set up, your, your email set up, the information you want to send them, the landing page, everything dialed in and locked in. Once you have that, when you send an email out to these businesses, uh, good, bad, or indifferent, you're going to be able to determine where, they're, where, you're, where you're lacking. Was it in the presentation I'm sending them? Is it not really, you know, driving the point home? Um, is it in my follow up call? Is it in my closing call? Is it, or is it in my first call? Am I asking the right questions to a business owner? Am I rubbing, roughing, roughing, ruffling? Am I ruffling a business owner the wrong way? Um, am I saying the wrong things to people, expecting them to respond the correct way? And so I've dis I've seen it and discovered that many people don't always know what to say to a business owner when they're on the phone and or a business that they're pitching. And that comes back to having the script, but also being trained. See, one of the things that when I was getting good on the phone, one of the things that was done was that we would do what they call um, like tag teaming in, in sales. So in other words, in my very, very infancy and in, in starting the previous company I worked with, um, I was more in the beginning, I was an opener and I would get the person on the phone to a specific point. My only responsibility was to get them really excited. OK, then the minute that they were like really hot, we would put the phone on speaker and then the owner would come in and basically show me how to how to close these deals and how to really communicate and, and speak to these businesses the right way. OK. And so that's why I know that if, if we were doing strategy calls and coaching sessions with you, you, you'd have the same results because the minute you have someone on the phone, you know, we're going to be going back and forth until we, until we get them to that step to close. Right. And I'm going to give you guys another video because it actually occurred uh, multiple times now, but I'll give you guys a video to show that happening. Um, but my point is that that's basically how you learn, right? How this all works, because if you're trying to figure it out, you can. I mean, you can figure it out and you can obviously get lucky with a lot of businesses and they will work with you. But for many people, many people will have the issue simply because they don't know what they don't know and they think they know. Right. Meaning that you believe you should say this, this, this and this to a business <clears throat> because maybe you saw a video. Maybe someone said this is how you close deals. And now you're trying to make sure you hit all these bullet points. And for, <clears throat> for whatever reason, the buyer isn't necessarily responding a certain way and it could be throwing you off your game. And then you're like, wait, I'm saying all these questions. I'm asking all the closing questions and then, you know, OK, are you ready to get started? We're just joking around here. Right. <clears throat> and so you get to the point where you're like, wait, I'm not closing the deal. Closing deals is is not your decision. The decision to close a deal is based on the buyer. Okay. For example, I give you guys a perfect example. Let's say you're in a closing call with uh, a business owner, right? And obviously the business owner has an interest. He's on the phone with you on a follow-up call. 
and he's maybe he's saying, you know, now is not the right time. Now he's busy. Or maybe he's the opposite. Maybe he has some questions, right? So he might say, you know, Mike, how does this all work, right? Well, basically, how does it work, right? Do you know? That's what I'm trying to say. Do you know your process? How does it work? Like, let's say if this business owner were to get signed up with you today, what would be the next step that he or she would have to take in order to get the phone calls and leads and everything to come in? Do you have that written down in like a one cent, like one or two sentences, maybe three? Nothing too long, no two, three minute count. Not, all we have to do is this. Like, for instance, if a guy says to me tomorrow, Mike, I'm ready to go, how does it work? Well, basically, my team is going to send over the invoice. The moment you take care of that invoice, we're going to go ahead and get you set up. All I need is a phone number and email. I got that. And in three days, four days, I'm going to give you a call and we're going to do a test call. We're going to do a test lead and we're going to be off to the races. That's it. Very simple, right? So in your process, how does it work? How does your process work the moment a business owner is going to sign up with you? What would be the next steps he or she would have to take? You have to know that. Okay, that's your process. And many times because you don't know that, you don't know where to take this customer, right? So for instance, if a customer is saying, well, you know, I was working with another company and the issue that we were experiencing was for whatever reason, we were not getting a lot of leads. We were not getting a lot of phone calls, okay? There may be a way to get into that, right? Like, for instance, if someone says that to me, I want to find out what was the drawback, right? And and I almost in a way I'm I'm bringing up a pain, but, so I don't want to dig too much into it, make them get negative in thought because they may go left. But I'm bringing up a pain and say, well, look, let me know what do you mean by that? Were you guys getting any action, any phone calls, any leads? And they say no. I say okay. Well, based on my experience and the businesses owners that I'm working with, this is what we're able to do. I'm immediately removing the pain with a pleasure, right? Because I know if I'm calling a specific vertical, these are copy and paste campaigns now, right? So I already know he's going to get results. But now let's just say he says, yeah, well, one of the things that I wanted to do is I only wanted to stay in my one town. Well, that's why you're not getting results, right? I mean, the reality is your area is just a little too small, depending on what his services is, right? Or he may get very little results, right? So for instance, let's say he lives in a town that's about 100,000 people or 200, right? Or 300,000. That may not be enough to tick the needle to the point where he wants to go because he may get inquiries from someone in another town, maybe another county, right? And he may need to be travel up to an hour. She may need to travel up to an hour, right? To provide their services. So now if you're the expert in marketing and in advertising, and you don't know these small dynamics, then guess what? In the midst of a closing call, you may revert back to something that you think the buyer should hear, right? Which is another sales line. And they're gonna read that and they're gonna know that you may not know 100% some of the aspects of their business because guess what? The last 10 marketing companies they spoke to said the same thing you did. They didn't actually bring in the human element. Whereas, you know, you may get a call from you know, 30 minutes from your home, but it's possible that you can get a call up to now. And the reason why is because of X, Y, and Z, right? Specifically, if you know anything about advertising, it's targeted, but sometimes there may be people who are traveling in and out of cities, work in one city, work in another. Maybe a friend or a family member saw the ad and said, hey, you should give this business owner a call. There are multiple variables, right? And you want to discover right away, is that going to be a problem? And let them know, listen, some of the clients that like, for instance, some of the clients I work with, they might go up to an hour away, but that could be a ten or $20,000 job. Is that a problem? No, it's not a problem. I, I think I can make it over there for 20 grand. Okay, right? You see what we're doing here? We're, we're letting the business owner know that we are an expert in their field. We know their business. We know what type of calls they can get and leads. And we also know how to run this advertising environment for them for the best success. Now, we, we and then this is where you close with, with what I call honesty because nothing is perfect, right? If something was perfect, I mean, honestly, the word is impossible to, to meet. There's nothing that's perfect, right? But if we can get as good as perfect, like I gave you guys a story, a guy that just signed up with me, he's in an 80% close rate, right? Whereas before he was more like 10 to 20% with the directories. Um, nothing is perfect. But if we can get you closer to that number that you like to be, I think we have a good shot working together. And the best part about working with me is that you get what you get, right? What do I mean by that? I mean that everything I'm telling you right now is what we're going to do. And I think I told you guys before, now you want to live up to your word, okay? So guys, listen, 
in this video, just to recap, you need to know a process to go into to actually close deals, right? What is going to happen on the follow-up call? Okay, what are a couple things a buyer is going to say? You're going to have a buyer that's completely uninterested for whatever reason. Oh, I didn't get a chance to look at your email yet. How do you handle that call? You may have a buyer that is talking to you. They have a couple of questions. How do you handle that call? And then you might have someone that says, listen, I'm ready to get started with you right now. How do you handle that call? Three different types of scenarios. And then there are a couple of others. But it's in a nutshell, those would be your scenarios. If you are not equipped in knowing how to handle those types of calls and you're getting people to that step, I recommend that you guys book a strategy call. Because on a strategy call, I'm going to be able to work with you one-on-one -on -one and we can actually go through the details off what you're experiencing you may have some calls that are recorded i highly recommend you record them let's listen to those calls and get over those hurdles okay and there may be some other things that you guys need as well now if you need a coach coaching program is different what's the coaching call mike coaching call is to see if you guys qualify for a coaching program with me not everybody who calls is going to be qualified and so you need to qualify for the coaching call okay if this video has been helpful, you want to hit the like button, share and subscribe. My channel is going to be giving you guys tips, tricks and strategies to grow your estimate agency fast. I'll see you guys next time.